everybody, my name is Matt McCoy. I'm an Ableton certified trainer from Chicago and a product specialist. And today I'm here at Full Compass to show you the new push instrument um, from Ableton. And I'm a songer, songwriter, singer-songwriter, and this is a dream for any music producer because you can use this as an instrument to lay down your music ideas and create new music um, and use this as an instrument. So I'm going to show you that today and we're basically using uh, Live 9 here, but I'm actually going to just kind of close my computer because we don't even need to look at the computer as I make this because I can do everything I need to do with the controller. So um, first of all, I'm going to just show you what you're looking at here is over here in the bottom left corner is my drum rack. So right now I have 16 different samples loaded in. And um, then over here, this is choosing my loop length. So I'm on two bars now, three bars. I'm going to go back to one bar, and up here you can see the step sequencer. So what's cool is then you can draw in your beat. But let's just say I don't even want to draw it in. Let me just remove that. I'm going to start my metronome. I'm going to turn this on. I can choose my tempo here. And then I'm going to just hit the record button, and it's going to record in what I do here. I'm like, okay, that's cool. I can hit quantize, kind of lock that up a little bit. So that clap was off, so let me go fix that. All right, let's add a little. So I could play it like that. Let me turn the metronome off. We don't need that. Or I'm going to turn on repeat. These are all velocity sensitive too, so if I push really hard, it's a little louder or softer. I'm going to go and just record it in just like that. Cool. Let me go and add a little delay on here that I have set up on a return track or some reverb. I can go back to session view and I see my clip there. I'm going to hit duplicate to create a new scene. And uh, let's go ahead and add some melody. So I'm going to go back to note mode. I'm going to go over to my next track. And as you can see here, we're in note mode. And this is pretty amazing because I'm going to go to um, show my scales here. I'm in the key of C. All the blue, all the blue pads are the root. So these are all C showing octaves. And I'm locked into the key of C so I can actually play a scale, a major scale in the key of C. You can also do triads, which is cool. If you need to change, let's go to a minor. So now we're in a minor scale. There's tons of different scales in here, Dorian. So we're going to stay major. You can choose your key. Also, I can switch. Right now I'm fixed to the key of C, but I can switch to chromatic mode. All the black pads are the accidentals, so these are your black keys. Pretty cool. So I'm going to go back to chromatic. I mean, fix the key. And let's go ahead and uh, just play something in here. I'm going to hit record. You can see too that when I was recording, those pads turned red, which is really helpful kind of know, okay, like it's actually recording right now. All right, so if I go back to session view, you can actually see the clip that it made of my piano track. I could take the piano out by firing the stop or launch the piano again. All right, let's add another instrument. I'm going to go to another track, note mode. I think I've got a pad set up here. I'm just going to record that in. Hit record. Now it's in a loop mode. It's just going to keep going back and forth. I'm 
to turn the, the pad down a little bit. Turn the pad down. All right, let's just add a new instrument. So right here on the fly, I can just add a new instrument by hitting add track. And now I can scroll through my live library. And I'm gonna go to analog, and we'll find like a cool synth lead. We'll use this one. You can scroll through all your different instruments, it's great. Go to note mode. Cool. So now I can just kind of play around here. Let's see what we got. Alright, let's record that in. Quantize that. We can change the volume. Add some effects on here. And then let's say also, I'm like, well, I actually want to do that a little faster. I can change the tempo on the fly because everything's warped. So I want to be at like 120 maybe. Go back to session view. Let me like duplicate that scene. And I can hold delete and delete some of these. And now I can actually just fire layers as I go. So let's say I want to go back to like my first section. I can fire the scenes over here with these buttons. And then I can fire the next section, which is the pad. And then I want to bring in that, that synth lead. Three, four. So, you know, just in a few minutes, I've actually kind of created a foundation for a song. And, you know, you could just keep going. I keep, keep adding as many tracks as I want. So now we could open up live if we want and get into maybe even more like fine tuning with your mouse. But you don't really even need to if you don't want to. So it's an amazing instrument from Ableton. Definitely check out the Push Controller if you're a singer, songwriter, music producer. You can use this in live performance if you're a DJ. Use it on stage or just in your bedroom in your home studio. If you have any questions at all, check out fullcompass.com or contact your Full Compass sales representative. Enjoy.